Do you believe that? Is eight, Texas five. And it's Davis's third home run tonight. They're going wild at the Coliseum. The 2-0. He throw to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and Ichiro is racing for third, and he's done it. He's climbed the mountain, a triple, and he has arrived at 3,000. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall. Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the L.A. Dodgers and the New York Mets. Mets baseball starts right now. Noah Syndergaard, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, Matty, we get the opportunity to watch the reigning National League Pitcher of the Month go to work. So, obviously, I'm pretty excited to see about how he attacks these hitters. He's shown a lot of confidence on the mound right now, and that confidence can sometimes be a pitcher's greatest weapon. Into the windup, here's the 2 and one pitch. A big pass at a slider that gets past him. Our temperature not quite as hot as we'd expected. 85 degrees the reading at first pitch. Skied into straightaway right. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first out. Time now to check out the lineup for the visiting Dodgers. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Here's Jock Peterson now. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Here's Corey Seeger. First shot for him here as he enters play, currently leading the senior circuit in batting. To look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Well, if you're wondering if he's going to be loose for this game, there's our answer. 98 in the first inning. He's going to be coming right after. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ends up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Oh, I got to give advantage to hitter in this AB man. He's seen a lot of pitches. He's sitting two two. Anytime you've seen this many pitches, you now have him measured really well. The two two one more time. Line drive to left. 
And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. Legs churning. He's headed for second. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Well, the sun was definitely a factor there, but here's the news. The sun rises every day, and as a player, you've got to find a way to deal with it. A glove, flip down, sunglasses. Use something so you can catch the ball. Sometimes easier said than done, though. And he misses again, ball three. These Mets, Harold, as they take the field here today, they come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, Matt, I love these games. Two first-place teams. And the throw to first is there, and the inning is over. So they're able to get the runner to third in the opening half inning, but can't bring him around. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Clayton Kershaw will be on the mound for the boys in blue. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw, three base hits in 16 tries. Now the one two pitch from Kershaw and mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two but he did and it's two and two now and now pitch on the way and that swung on and fouled straight back. The two two one more time. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Yeah, you know, I love what the Grandy man, Curtis Granderson, does for this ball club. He's in the top five in runs scored in the National League, so he's a big part of the lineup. The guys behind him are doing a good job of driving him in, too, but they'd be a whole different team without him. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Faces are empty, one man out. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. Wow, you know he's not happy with that call. When it crossed the plate, it sure looked like a strike to me. Seemed to catch a ton of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. One and one, here it is. Slider right over the middle taken for a strike might have been taking all the way right there that pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better and you can bet he wants that one back at the plate ready to deliver the one and two a wild pitch but the catcher is able to knock it down and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two so let's take a peek at our umpire and crew in this one working the plate is Larry Bullard. Well Larry Bullard is a good umpire. It's pretty uncommon to see guys get too frustrated about his balls and strikes because it doesn't seem like he's favors one location more than the other. There to make the play is Puig for route number two and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Batting fourth. Second, Here's Neil Walker. Neil he comes in currently Walker. tied for third in home runs on the team. Two out with the man at first. High pop up. Forsyth is there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Met strand one, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Digging in, Adrian Gonzalez. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. And this is heading for the seats and out of play to the left. Another one-two delivery. 
Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that station standard baseball. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He went deep last night twice. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Now at the plate, Logan Forsythe. And this is a good-looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right-handers this season. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Jay Bruce will be the one to lead us off when we return. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Here's Jay Bruce now. He'll be the one to start things here against Clayton Kershaw. Kershaw now on one and one. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. Well, that fooled him right there. Clearly, he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. And Bruce can't connect there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the inning. Well, let's take a look at the Dodgers defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Only one hit for him in his last four ball games. Fastball called strike one and two. Bottom of the second here with no score. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. And he struck him out. Batting seventh. Digging in now, T.J. Rivera. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Kershaw into the windup. Here's the one and one. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Seeger has it. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. We'll move to the third with no score. Back at City Field in Flushing, Queens, as we are ready for the third inning in this one. Coming to the plate now, Andre Ethier, one of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So with one gone for him in the inning, let's check out where they sit in the current standings, and you can see they enter play with a nice four-game cushion.
at the plate, Clayton Kershaw. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hit out towards second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. The right fielder, number 66. Yassiel. And now is Yassiel Puig. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to 1 and 2 now. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's a little chopper up the middle, taken by Walker. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. Stepping into the box, Juan Ligares. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussion at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Into the box, Noah Sindergaard. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. This is an interesting matchup, Matt. These are two of the best players in the league. You got a possible MVP candidate in the hitter and a possible Cy Young Award winner in the pitcher. What a matchup. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. To two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, Getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Oh, Matt, I think he thought he's going to get another breaking ball right there. He's a little bit late on that fastball. That's a nice pitch, though, following that breaking pitch to keep him off balance with the heater. And another foul ball. Here's another 2-2. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So in just one turn through the lineup, that's already five strikeouts for him here in the contest. And we'll bring up our Dodger leaderboard to confirm for you that his current total leads the squad in that category. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Reyes. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. He executed that one-two curveball pretty well. I think that's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. As Dribble Cabrera would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Down the third baseline. Gloved by Turner. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Digging in for his second at bat, Jock Peterson. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw is there to record the first down. Good job of getting him to chase the ball in the dirt right there. Hey, also credit the catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. Standing in now, Corey Seeger. 
Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. How about him? Third baseman, Justin Turner. Ready for another chance? Justin Turner comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bruce has a read on it. And that's the third out. Dodgers down in order. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Digging in to try it again as Drupal Cabrera reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. One and one, here it comes. Curveball stays a little high that time. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. And this is fouled at the plate. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Little flare out to left. That's a hit. The first of the game for the Mets. Well, there's a nice little soft liner. I know it's a leadoff base hit. It wasn't hit as hard as he'd like to, but sometimes that little soft liner starts rallies. Into the box now, Curtis Granderson. And that's taken for a cold strike two. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break, a little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate, and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. A ball and two strikes, here it is. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal that at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. In now, Neil Walker. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The payoff pitch one more time. And we'll see another pitch here as this ball's chopped foul at home plate. set by Kershaw now the pitch lofted in the air out to right field on the move is Puig he hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up the right fielder number 19 riding in once again Jay Bruce he's 0 for 1 thus far In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Here's the two one. 
Big curve ball right down the middle for strike number two. Well, maybe that fooled him, or maybe he wasn't looking for it, but man, he hung him a curveball right there in the middle. For him to not swing the bat, being the power hitter he is, who sees a lot of breaking pitches, makes me think he's looking for something else. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Mets leave one through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Here's Adrian now, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a swing and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Here's the catcher Yasmani Grandal comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the pitch. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Dodgers have yet to break into the hit column here. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. And this is swung on and missed. So it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go right there. A big goose egg in that hit column worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. Stepping up to the plate, Logan Forsythe. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs, no hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3 and 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike 2. Oh, he got the big fella out in front on that one. This guy's got a lot of power, so he pulled the string on him, knowing if he got a 3-1 fastball, we're probably going to watch him jog around the bases. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. 1-2-3 go the Dodgers. Halfway home, still no score. Stepping up now, Travis Darno. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Right over the middle, knee high. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit on the ground to third. A dive and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Back to back hits and now the inning is set up. They're trying to put the first run on the board Center so fielder, you can bunt, move them up. Now you're Juan. second and third. Montgomery. You may draw the infield in. Or if they sit back, get the easy ground ball and you pick up the first run of the game. But it's all set up with those back to back singles and now you can do whatever you want to do with the rest of the inning. Into the box, Juan Ligaris as he sends it on the ground to first. And he's safe. Oh, but the feet of the pitcher is a wild one. But luckily, it doesn't get far enough away to allow the runners to advance. In now, Noah Sindergaard looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Kershaw now on one and one. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Look, 2 and 0 oh to the pitcher in this situation with the bases loaded. You have to challenge him. Make him swing the bat. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. There's Jose Reyes. He waits on deck.
Ready on three and one. Here it comes. A high fastball is in there. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of it depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Hey, this has pretty much been a pitcher's duel so far, so any way you can score a run in a sack fly right there brings home the first run of the game here in the middle innings. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Ethier's there, and that's the second out of the inning. Ready for another shot now as Grubel Cabrera. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Here's the one and two delivery. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Matt, I'm looking for him to challenge him right here. You know, two two. You don't want to go to three and two. Have those runners on the move on that certain pitch. So two two is your challenge pitch. Now Kershaw delivers a two two, and this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both into scoring position. Kershaw comes set. Here comes the three and two. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Looks like the pitching coach might want to have a chat here. Not sure why the pitching coach is even going to the mound. This guy's been on cruise control the entire game. Might be he's just giving his pitcher a chance to catch his breath, regroup, and regain some of that focus. Into the box now. Curtis Granderson. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Looking to minimize the damage here. Taken. Called strike two on the inside part of the plate. One and two now. Come on. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now this is on the ground a second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it. And the inning is over. The Mets played a run on a couple of hits. Five innings complete. Mets out in front, one to nothing. At the plate is Andre Ethier. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Line towards center field. That's a hit. The first in this game for the Dodgers. Well, it's taken quite a bit of time now. We're into the sixth inning. Pitcher really was settling down nice. That's the first hit of the game. Let's see maybe if they're able to make a little attack now. Standing in now, Clayton Kershaw. Now a bunt attempt here. Rivera is there, and he makes the catch for the out. The right fielder number six. And now is Yasiel Puig. Yasiel he comes in Puig. 0 for 2 thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Ready on 1 and 2. 
swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Stepping in now, John Peterson. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. No runs, just one hit. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Bruce giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Dodgers leave one. They trail this one, one to nothing. Here's Neil Walker. Due up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Walker lays oh, off there. It's two balls and a strike. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. And a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time. Two and two. Here it comes. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Peterson going back on it. He's there and records the first out. Now batting. Right fielder. Shay. Here's Jay Ooh. Bruce now. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right hander up and throwing. And he misses ball four. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to no, wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. Ready for another shot now. Travis Darno. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. This is hit pretty well out to left field. Ranging back is Ethier. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Fourth home run for him on the season. And the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead. It's almost a shame because he was pitching a gem today, at least until he served up this two-run shot. Just goes to show one pitch, one swing is all it takes to change a pitcher's entire day. Now here's the Dodger skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart no, after five and a third innings of work no, and with no Dodgers. shot to win the decision. Pedro Baez Pedro is on now out Baez. of the bullpen as he'll make his 70th appearance so far this year. In now, T.J. Rivera. Hey. Tough slider down low for a strike. One out, nobody on. And that misses two and two. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Center fielder number two. Ready once again, Juan Ligaris. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left hander has begun to get loose. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two run home run. Part of the order, 3 4 5 coming up to start the seventh. It's 3 0 New York. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. 
Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here's Corey Seager. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. On its way is pitch number 75. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a line drive. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. A shot down the first baseline and a reach but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well the pitcher can't really worry about that one. I mean it was How only their second hit of the game so he's doing a Justin lot of things right. Turner. Let's see if he can leave him out there now. Ready for another chance. Justin Turner. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Now time is called and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2 on the ground to third. Throw on to first and one third baseman grounds out to the other one away. Now batting the Digging in once again, Adrian Gonzalez. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Runner at second here with one man out. He pulls this one into right, and that's in there. Base hit. Hey, that's a base hit right there. Now they got two runners on. This may be their best opportunity to get on the board. They've been shut out the whole game. Money Grandal. Digging in to try it again. Yosmani Grandal. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. On that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Yosmani Grandal is sent packing for the third time today. Riding in once again, Logan Forsythe. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Runners on first and third, two away. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Lagara is giving chase. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And that it's ends the inning. Dodgers strand a couple. Still down 3 nothing. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Alex Wood will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Chase Utley will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Noah Syndergaard. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Ball three. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Nope. And that can't find the zone either. It's ball four, and on just five pitches, he's walked the pitcher leading off the inning. Mm. Yeah, that strategy is Number great seven. when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. 
A runner at first with no outs here. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Let's go, nice hit here. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Third baseman number three. Digging in the switch hitter as Google Cabrera. It was a walk in his last trip. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. And that pitch catches the inside corner. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. And there he goes towards second. Rounded down the third baseline. And this will get by him at third down the line. It's a fair ball. Cindergaard rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he is safe at the plate. It's now a 4 nothing game. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position. And he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. Into the box now, Curtis Granderson. And a good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Hit hard down the line. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. And they'll tack on one more as this is now a 5 nothing game. That was some great situational hitting there after surveying the field to see what the defense was giving him. The third baseman was well off the line, and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two-bagger. Standing in now, Neil Walker. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's set. Here's the three and two. That's in there. Base hit. Granderson is on his way home. And a relay to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. In now. Jay Bruce, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Inside corner called a strike one and two. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Into the box, Travis Darno. And this is fouled back and out of play. Three runs already home here. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Mets six, and the Dodgers nothing. Digging in and looking for more, Andre Ethier, a hit in two tries so far. Set to deliver on 3 0. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Looking to fade his first walk, here it comes. 
And this is going to find its way into right for a base hit. And the leadoff man's on to start the eighth. That ball's right in his wheelhouse. You may as well take out a tee, set the ball right there, and say hit it as hard as you can, because that's what he did. Your attention, please. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Nobody out, runner on first. Stepping in now, Chase Utley. Dribbled to the right side, but that one rolls foul. Well, with the leadoff man getting on right there, Matt, they are falling so far behind, they have to capitalize. They have to get some runs to get back in this thing. Granderson on the move. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. Ethier rounds the corner and is headed home. And they'll get a little closer here as the run comes across to score from first. It's a 6-1 game. The never right say never in this game, game, folks. It's yes, late and the clock is ticking. Wait. But that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Into the box now. Yasiel Puig called strike and that'll run it full. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Once again, a 3-2. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Bruce has a play, one away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Now batting. The center Here's Jock Peterson Jock. now. 0 for 3 Peterson. with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Liner toward right center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. That makes it a 6-2 to two game. Oh, the changeup executed nicely, and he still got a ground ball. Corey they got the base hit. Seager. He got his ground ball. He did everything he wanted to do. Sometimes it just doesn't work out for you. In now, Corey Seager. He grounds it sharply to third. Throw gets him two down. Stepping up now, Justin Turner. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Grounded to short. Right there is Reyes. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. It's the Mets six, and the Dodgers two. Ready now, T.J. Rivera. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ranging back is Ethier. Gone to lead off the inning. So a solo shot here to left center field. His first home run of the season. And the lead is now 7-2. This game is definitely out of the norm from this guy. I mean, his ERA is at the twos, and they're just hammering him all over the yard. That earned run average will be on the rise after this one. Yimmy Garcia is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Jimmy Garcia. Standing in now, Juan Ligares changes up on him there, but it's one and two. Right. 
Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batting, Outstanding Andrew. range on display Jerry that time, and here's Levin. the data from show track. I didn't think he was going to get to that one, but he did, and then to complete the play, he made a fantastic throw right on the money. That batter's got to feel like he got robbed on that ball. One more Flores. We'll grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number four, Wilmer Flores. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Ethier on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. A shortstop, number seven. Jose Coming to the plate now, Reyes. Jose Reyes. Looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Another try at 2 2. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. Well, that's now a nice base hit right there, making him one for fun. five. Personally, and nice dribble. note, but the team is winning anyway. They really didn't need him today. He's got to step his game up starting the next game, though. Stepping in now as Dribble Cabrera. Line toward the alley in left center. And Cabrera's going to have himself a base hit. Reyes rounds third. He's headed for home. The tag from Brandall, and they get him at home play. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. Last chance coming up here for the Dodgers. It's the Mets seven and the Dodgers two. A.J. Ramos please. comes on from now the pen, hoping the to finish match. this one off here in Number the top of the ninth. A.J. Ramos. Here's Adrian now. He'll be the first to greet the closer, A.J. Ramos. Set. Here's the 3-1. This one is launched. Look at this. Gone into the upper tank. A solo shot down the line in right. Number 23 for him thus far, as is now a 7-3 game. Hey, there are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Into the box, Yosemite Grandal. And this is going to be a foul ball. The next 3 2. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. His timing looks good right there, Matt. That's falling up after a fastball. He still was able to get a piece of that breaking ball. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Ready with the payoff pitch. And he struck him out again. So that's the old sombrero there, partner. Four strikeouts in the ballgame. Our coordinating producer, Chris Gill, tells me in my headset to tell you not to miss our postgame highlights. That'll come your way at the conclusion of matters here this afternoon, right here on the show. Scott Van Slyke will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 33. Ben Hit in the air out to right. 
And he will run this one down. A good lead off the bat for the second out. Fielder, Andre Ethier. Standing in, Andre Ethier. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Popped up. Walker on the move. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. Noah Syndergaard earns a league-best 17th victory. So that's a wrap for this afternoon. For Harold, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Seven runs on ten hits. One error. They left seven men on base. Three and two. High fly ball to center and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No! He pulled it back! He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first and no! double play! Oh, oh my! Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. Yasiel, please.